高楼，抬高楼，抬高楼，抬高楼，抬高楼，抬。我操！ The EMS Katowice 2014 capsules are some of the most coveted items in the entirety of Counter-Strike, with their existence being linked to the first major stickers in Counter-Strike and containing some of the most desirable stickers. Because of this, it has made these capsules highly demanded by YouTubers and streamers, opening these capsules for the chance to acquire some of Counter-Strike's most iconic stickers. This has resulted in some of the rarest capsules the game has ever seen, with these capsules selling up to fourteen thousand dollars. But the question is, will these capsules go extinct in the near future, and what would the consequences be if this were to happen? But first, let's rewind a bit. In 2020, CS:GO became one of the most popular games in the world, having a comeback in the gaming community, with it reaching a new all-time concurrent player count being one million three hundred and five thousand. Of course, this was all influenced by a certain global pandemic, which caused many people to be stuck indoors. But the popularity and growth the game received breathed new life into the Counter-Strike content space, with more people creating videos around the game and engaging with the community like never before. This situation caused many of these creators to come up with ideas for content that would go viral surrounding the game. This is when many had the bright idea to buy and open EMS Katowice 2014 capsules. The capsules being already rare at the time and selling for around two thousand dollars made opening one of these a big deal. So content creators started opening these capsules for the videos and live streams, in which this content received hundreds of thousands of views. Although this content was great for social media, it was creating an issue behind the scenes. Because these capsules were being opened at such a fast rate, the capsules began to plummet in supply, which drove up the price. This slowed down the openings for EMS Katowice 2014 capsules in general, as they were becoming more and more unobtainable. One notable streamer that was determined to open these capsules, no matter what, was Trainwreck, who opened these capsules from 2020 to 2022. By the end of his EMS capsule spending spree, he was paying $140,000 for 14 capsules, which back during 2020 would have only cost him $30,000. Because of this, opening an EMS Katowice 2014 capsule has now become a rare occasion. But even now and then, these capsules will be opened without notice, or by reputable Counter-Strike streamers such as OnlyPixel. With there being only 168 legends and 101 challenges EMS Katowice 2014 capsules known to be tradable, the price will inevitably increase as supply is bought up. Although the supply is incredibly low for these items, it may not seem realistic that these capsules will go extinct anytime soon due to the increase in price over time, which will turn people away from buying these capsules. Well, this is where Counter-Strike 2 may shift the course of history. Ever since the rumors of Counter-Strike 2 being thrown around, many of Twitch's biggest streamers have expressed interest in buying and opening these EMS capsules. In fact, XQC himself has publicly stated that he would like to open at least 20 of these capsules at once at some point in the future. Jojo, if I were to do it, though, I feel like I would buy, I would buy like maybe 20 of them and just do it all together and send them. Yeah, I mean, 20 of I mean, what? Why? Well, but Japanese, otherwise it's boring. If you only do one, the twelve thousand dollar capsule. It's too all in. Purchasing this many would cost him at least two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Excuse me, containing this many capsules would cause significant long-term consequences to the price of these EMS capsules that exist, as their scarcity would increase, resulting in a massive spike in price for the remaining capsules. Not only is XQC a threat to these EMS capsules being extinct, but Aiden Ross has recently started to get into Counter-Strike skins. With his knowledge of the game growing every day, it is likely that he may eventually turn to open a few EMS Katowice 2014 capsules himself. How many could he open is uncertain, but he would also speed up the inevitable extinction of these EMS capsules. At this point in time, it seems uncertain whether or not he would open these EMS capsules. As his Counter-Strike streaming has slowed down as of recently, so who knows if he'll be committed to open the game's most sought-after capsules? 
Other streamers may also enter the Counter-Strike space as well, ready to spend thousands of dollars on these capsules themselves. This all stems from a repeat of history, as the announcement of Counter-Strike 2 has caused another all-time hike in current player count. The last time Counter-Strike was this popular, it caused many EMS capsules to be bought up and the price seven times in three years. It's uncertain as to if these capsules will have another rise in price, similar to the one seen from 2020 to 2022, but Counter-Strike 2 has caused many streamers to set their eyes on opening and acquiring many remaining EMS Catavitsa 2014 capsules out there. At the end of the day, it's looking as if these capsules will become extinct within the next three years, as many streamers and YouTubers and random gambling hobbyists open the remaining capsules. Due to the release of Counter-Strike 2, it's looking like the game will be around for many years to come. This leaves us with plenty of time for these capsules to be unboxed, and who knows, maybe one day we'll see the EMS Catavista 2014 capsules go extinct. But hopefully, not before only Pixel opens a Titan Hollow. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. This video will be giving away two M4A1S Empress Sauruses. Make sure to stay around for new videos you don't want to miss.